When you walk into a ponderosa pine forest at the Davis Mountains, it has a different feeling from everything else around it. You just feel that the place you're in is special and we want to make sure that future generations have a chance to experience that same feeling and see that special part of the Davis Mountains. The Ponderosa Pines have really suffered from the recent droughts and we've been losing a lot of the trees out there and that's where working with the Texas Forest Service has been really helpful in helping us understand and manage the Ponderosa Pine ecosystem. Frankly, it broke my heart to, to see, you know, what was going on out there. It was just hundreds, if not thousands of acres of dead Ponderosa Pine. So I knew after that first visit, you know, we had to do something. In Texas, uh, it's found in, in two very small populations. One is in the higher elevations of the Guadalupe National Park, and the other is here in the, in the Davis Mountains, the, the island in the sky. It's under siege, it's, it's being threatened. It's uh, weather changes in the weather patterns that we've seen over the last 20 or so years, uh, coupled with uh, wildfires and, uh, and bark beetle attacks have really placed the species in Texas in peril. Well, what we're doing to try to counteract um, the effects of fire bleeds over into several different other problems that we're treating at the same time that we're trying to get a handle on. And the main thing is to reduce down the density of the forest that is competing with the ponderosa pine. Well, I, I think a big role of our agency is, is providing technical assistance, being able to do the right thing at the right time in the right way and this was not any different. We were thrilled when the Conservancy came to us and said will you help us with this project. Texas Forest Service has been a really great organization to work with because we share a lot of the same goals. The Nature Conservancy wants to protect the entire ecosystem out at the Davis Mountains and the Texas Forest Service has really been helping us focus on the Ponderosa Pine Woodlands. We couldn't have done this without each other. Texas is big. And this, was, this project was not an exception. People with common objectives can come together in a collaborative way to make sure things get done, again, the way they need to get done. This is something that you know, we can all work toward and, and develop a, a better way of managing these sands in the future. It's important really because it's part of our heritage as, as Texans. If we lose the Ponderosa Pines out of the Davis Mountains, it, the place will be different. It won't be the Davis Mountains that we know and love right now. It's taken a very bad situation and finding the tools, what we need to make sure that, that this stand of very important pine trees extend into the future. This is sort of the last stand. We've got to try to do some things to protect and conserve the species for the, for the future or it's, it's literally going to go away. It's going away before our eyes right now.